Hello guys and welcome back to another Inverted Gamers video. Today I was going to try and do something different. I'm going to give you a tips and tricks video. Now I'm not the best kind of Warzone player around, but by using these tips and tricks I noticed that I was getting a lot of better, I was getting more kills, so I thought I would share it with you guys. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a comment in the comment section what you guys think of the video or if you want to see some other content please let me know and then now without further ado let's jump into the first tip first tip i'll have for you is the controller settings that i use so i have an elite controller i have a scuff controller with back buttons so i play on default but if you're not, if you're using a normal PS4 controller without back buttons, I would highly recommend you put it on tactical flipped. What that will do, it will put your uh, aim band sight at L1 and your firing at R1. Uh, you will see a significant difference in speed when you're aiming down sight and firing than when you use your normal L2 and R2 buttons because you have to press them all the way down and it takes longer than the L1 and the R1 buttons. Also very important that you put it on uh, tactical. What that will do, it, it will put your, your crouch, your prone and your slide on R3. It's very important that you never have to take your thumb off your right thumbstick when you're engaging in gunfire. So when you have it on R3, you can drop shot very easily by just holding down the R3 button or you get behind cover in crouch by just pressing the R3 button down so you never have to take off your thumb of your thumbstick then dead zone i'll have dead zone on 0 0.10 and what will that will do so i will show that to you in the next clip so i'm now in a, in a custom game and i will show you why it's important uh, to look at your best uh, dead zone settings my dead zone settings are at 0 0.10 and if i will put it on 0, 0.0 you will see that if i shoot without moving my controller you will see a little bit of sway to the right on my controller it's because my controller is really old and i use it a lot you can see i'm not touching my controller you can see it moving to the right now if i put it on zero on 0 0.10 and i shoot and i'm not touching my controller it just stays on the marker now, because I use my controller a lot, and especially my right thumbstick, it's, it tends to get a little bit broken. So you're going to have stick drift or stick sway to the right or to the left. And the last thing you want to have in a gunfight is that when you're aiming down sight, your controller goes all the way up to the right or all the way up to the left. So it's very important that you go in a custom game and you go check out if you have stick drift. And if so, just find the best settings for your dead zone and you will never have that problem again. The second tip I have for you guys is a pretty obvious one. It's the warm up. Before you jump into a war zone game, give, your, give yourself a chance just to work on your aim, your shooting. You could do that in a custom game. Just go to custom game and then game setup. You can choose whatever map that you want. The modes, just take free for all. And then custom game rules. Just put the time at unlimited, score at 100. And this is very important. This, uh, the max health, put it on 250 points. Because in Warzone, it takes about 250 damage to get it down. So if you know how many bullets that you need or how many shots that you need to get a player down, you can practice this in this custom game. Now the third tip I have for you guys is uh, movement. I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you the slide cancel. You can do the slide cancel in two ways. You can do the tactical sprint, slide, aim down side, jump. Tactical sprint, aim down side, jump. Tactical sprint, aim down side, jump. It's very good to clear uh, corners when you think people are hiding there behind that corner. You can do the slide cancel and then pick them off. Slide cancel, pick them off. What this will do, it will give your opponent who's camping in the corner a disadvantage. Because when you come around this, he sees you now, but you can't see him. So you can get the first shot off. But when you do this, 
his aim assist will go crazy and he won't be able to hit that first shot, but you will, so you're more likely to win the gunfight. I will teach you a limited tactical sprint. Everybody knows a tactical sprint right, when you hold your gun up, but after a short time, you will put your gun down and the sequence has to reload, so you can't use your tactical sprint for a couple of seconds. But if you do, the tactical sprint, slide two times, jump up, tactical. Then you will have infinite tactical sprint. You will never run out of tactical sprint. It takes a lot of practice to get down. But once you get it, you will have a big advantage over your opponents, and especially in Warzone, for outrunning the gas. So I'd recommend you go into the custom game and keep practicing this for 10 minutes, and then you will get better at this. Just slide, slide, X, slide, slide, jump. Slide, slide, jump, 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 over and over again. Keep practicing it and you will see over time you will get better at this. The fourth tip is outplaying your opponent. And by that I mean it's sometimes just be smarter than your opponent. Because sometimes you're going to run into an opponent who's just better than you, has better gun skills, better aim. And if you go and ego challenge that head on, you're going to lose it. Uh, nine times out of ten. So what you want to do is you want to be smarter than your opponent. Always keep them on their toes. Keep them guessing what you're going to do. And if you do that, eventually you're going to have more kills. And you're going to be better at the game. I am going to use some of my own clips to discuss and talk about how I, how I outplayed my opponent and got the kills in 1v1 and 1v3 situations. In this case, I was trailing a little bit behind of my own squad and two of my teammates were down. So instead of running straight ahead, I decided to go around the back, throw my stun grenade so I know exactly where my opponent is, and pick one off, and pick the second off, playing smart, getting behind cover, and then the third, he didn't know I was there, so I killed them. They get the cleanups, and I got three kills. And the opponents didn't even know I was there. In this case, I see an enemy at the window. I shoot him. I down him. I run up to the house. I throw my grenade, hoping it will full kill him. It does. It also knocks down the armor of another opponent. I jump into the window. Kill off the first one. Jump back out. Always keep moving. Always keep your opponent guessing. I know there's another one left. Shoot him too, I down him too, I know there's a third one inside, so I'm peeking this window, I don't shoot him instantly, I just wait, hoping he's going for the rest, he does, he's gonna revive his teammate, I'm going in, kill the last one, and those are three easy kills. Now the next clip is something I would normally advise you not to do, but I was feeling pretty confident this game, and I got a good aim, and I got a good shot, so I tried to do it anyway. There was a guy camping on the rooftop and we all know rooftop campers they probably have claymores or bouncing betty on the stairs so it's very difficult to win those engagements but i felt pretty confident and gave it a try and got an easy kill at the end then the last tip i have for you guys is your loadout <clears throat> first you need to know what kind of uh, warzone player that you are I'm um, more kind of a pushy player who likes to run it at the opponents, try to get the most skills that I can. So I use my Grawl setup with my M4A1. I switch my M4A1 so I can use it as an SMG. I use the monolithic suppressor, the no stock, the commando foregrip, the 9mm rounds and the sleight of hand. Turns the M4 basically into an SMG and it's really overpowered in close quarter combat. You're more a patient kind of player. You can use a sniper with a SMG, but you first you need to establish what kind of player that you are. When I play solos, I mostly rock the M4A1 with the RPG. Why do I use the RPG? It's great against campers and clearing out buildings. If you know there's somebody in the building, you don't want to run into the building and get killed, so you shoot a rocket into the building, knocking a guy's armor off or just straight killing him. But that's it, you know. You need to know what kind of player that you are, and by establishing that, you can 
pick the best loadout that you want. I like to use EOD because a lot of people use um, grenades and C4, and it's really good counter against that. Overkill, so I can use my secondary gun and tracker. Shows the footprints of the enemy, it's very helpful. Now, later on in the game, when there's loadout drops randomly spawning onto the map, you can switch overkill and take a ghost. Ghost, you won't show up on the UAV. As a lethal, I use C4. It's great against vehicles in Warzone. People trying to run you over, just throw C4 and you get the easy kill. But then they rock the heartbeat sensor a lot because intel in this game is the most important thing. There's a lot of buildings. People tend to camp in buildings on rooftops, so when you have your heartbeat center, it's like a mini UAV. If they are if they don't have ghosts, you know exactly where they are, so you get to get the easy kill. So that was it for the tips and tricks video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on. And if you want to see more uh, videos like this in the future, leave a comment down in the comment section below.